Starting off with this week's COVID updates. After one of the largest spikes we've ever seen in history, COVID cases are finally starting to go down. Yahoo News says that New York reported far fewer coronavirus cases this week than even the previous week. It's gone down about 39%. Many health professionals also are hopeful that Omicron could be close to the end of corona entirely. But some people, like Dr. Fauci, think this decision is too premature. He states that it is an open question whether it will be the live virus vaccination that everyone is hoping for. And even though the pandemic might not be over just yet, hopefully the ending of Omicron will be the end to many hardships of COVID. According to the Westchester County COVID-19 dashboard, Larchmont currently has 231 cases, Mamaroneck Town has 477 cases, and Mamaroneck Village has a total of 982 cases. While these numbers may be daunting, they are lower than last week and indicates that Omicron has already peaked. Moving on to some town news. On January 9th, the Larchmont Mamaroneck Human Rights Committee held the 35th annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. commemoration. High school students and middle school students from Larchmont and Mamaroneck presented essays, poems, and artwork inspired by Martin Luther King Jr. Mamaroneck High School also held a virtual assembly with a variety of performances. Here are some of the highlights. At the dawn of the 20th century, America was a country full of promise and hope for many. Black Americans faced a different reality, a nation separate and unequal. It is interesting to think that people dedicated their lives for me to be able to walk freely into a store, to be able to pursue whatever career I wanted, just simply express my opinion out loud. Dr. King, the face of the social justice movement, has made a handprint in the effort of eliminating systematic racism from our communities. The question now is, what are we, the community of Mamaroneck High, doing to continue his legacy and make our community welcoming to diversity? To me, the words all here and now are appealing to us, the community of Mamaroneck High, to come together and create a difference. So together, we'll upgrade our community to learn to appreciate all here and now. As Omicron cases surge within the Larchmont Mamaroneck community, there will be a few big changes that could be affecting your everyday routine. To start off, the trash pickup schedule has been modified to compensate for the staffing shortages due to the Omicron variant. These changes are necessary in order to continue collection services. This past week, the Maxwell Avenue Recycling Center had been closing at 1 p.m., opposed to their regular 3 p.m. closing time. This past Saturday, January 15th, they reopened with their normal Saturday hours from 8.45 a.m. to 11.45 a.m. In other news, the Larchmont Public Library has been experiencing similar problems and had to reduce their hours because of the staffing shortages due to the new surge of Omicron cases. The reduced hours began on January 4th and consisted of the library being open from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. daily and being closed all day on Sundays. They reassessed on January 14th and decided that sufficient staff had come out of quarantine and that they were able to resume normal hours, beginning Saturday, January 15th. The library is following similar protocols to the rest of the county and are only open for browsing and picking up holds. Library officials ask of you to limit your visit to 30 minutes. They will be adjusting their hours and limitations in accordance with the COVID rates, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. Moving on to school news. Safety and mitigating risk of exposure is the school's number one priority. The Test to Stay program is a program used by school districts all over the country to allow unvaccinated asymptomatic students that have been exposed to someone with COVID to continue attending school by conducting rapid COVID testing before the start of the school day. The test is a minimally invasive, shallow nasal swab that takes a few seconds, and the process takes around 20 minutes. The Test to Stay program permits students to remain in school following a COVID-19 exposure as long as they test negative. Any student who tests positive for COVID is able to return to school after five days of quarantining, as long as they are asymptomatic and fever-free for at least 24 hours. Please continue wearing a well-fitting mask around others at home and in public for an additional five days following your five-day isolation period. 